Today, we are going to talk about why collaboration is more important than competition. This is a story of how we grew our social media when a lot of brands weren't growing like crazy on Instagram. We grew from zero to 20K pretty quickly. It really started, we had, because we had no money. We still don't have a ton of money. We always knew that we can't afford to invest a ton of money in our marketing. We really thought that storytelling over marketing was always going to be for the win. And we decided to, the story of collaborating with other people, similar values to us, other entrepreneurs want to grow something, want to do something cool. It started with Instagram, right? And the first thing back in the day was you needed quality. You needed content. Content is king and quality content was king. Back then, it was all about photos, right? Who had the best photos? Well, we weren't good at taking photos. So we knew we had to find a photographer. Again, didn't have a ton of money. So we'd reach out to photographers who are also just beginning, just starting out, just like us. They worked full time. They maybe wanted to go full time as a photographer. Weren't quite there yet. They wanted to build a portfolio. So we'd find them on Instagram, send them a direct message and say, hey, you love your work. Do you want to collaborate with us? Uh, do you want to set up a photo shoot? We'll give you a bunch of product at no cost to you in exchange to take some photos. They were more than happy because like I said, they were working full time as jobs. This wasn't their, their gig, this was just their hobby. And they were always looking for stuff to shoot. So we got a photographer. Next, we needed models. Got sick of just shooting Dustin and I in the clothing over and over again. So we'd find other people who are other entrepreneurs, athletes, artists, worked for nonprofits that wanted to, that needed content as well. So we'd reach out to fashion bloggers, coffee roasters, artists, musicians, athletes, anyone who would listen to us and had an Instagram account. Say, hey, look, we got a photographer. We'd love for you to help model with us. And again, we target people who are also just starting out. We say, we can't pay you, but we can give you a couple of pieces of our local honorary gear at no additional cost to you. They say, great. So then we had a photographer, we had models. Now we needed a place to shoot. So again, we would find a place that was also looking for content to shoot in their space. We'd target cafes. We'd target different event spaces or different you know, buildings, whatever places we thought needed good quality content, we reached out to them and said, hey, we got a photographer, we got a model, we'd love to come down and shoot at your space anytime that works for you. And we'd say, they would say, great, no problem. We were making it easy for them. By the end of this, we'd have about four or five different parties that we'd all share the content with. We had four or five different parties that were now never, maybe never heard of us, but now are wearing our brand, telling their friends and family about our brand and our story. We were able to get across five, six, sometimes seven or eight different accounts in an organic way. We would do this once a week, twice a week, sometimes three times a week. We got really aggressive with it. And that's how we kind of grew this, not only a following on social, but we grew a community, a real authentic community, the people that were, supported us, that were in our corner, that were rooting for our success, and equally us, them. We wanted to see them successful. And and how we're able to do that is, is our brand has always been about building community, right? So it came from an authentic place. We weren't just trying to find free photographers to take advantage of so we could get free stuff in return. There was always an exchange there, right? And we would look for photographers that were just starting out. You know, they were they were trying to build a portfolio and it was beneficial to them that they got to meet and network with all these other small business owners that were potential customers in the future. But also it gave them a bit of credibility, right? That they got to shoot for all these different small businesses, brands and, and people that were also trying to grow their personal brands. So everyone was kind of in it together, right? It was a communal effort. Everyone was trying to help one another grow. When you do focus on building community, when you do focus on the collective, it really makes a difference, right? If you're going after photographers and you're saying, hey, I'm this brand, I'm trying to make as much money as I can. I don't want to pay you because I don't like paying your photographers and I don't value your services. Come shoot for free for me. The answer is going to be no, right? But if you're actually coming from a place of being authentic and actually wanting to help them succeed. We made sure every single photo had photographer credit, right? We tagged every single person that was in our photos, but we took what we call, you know, the hub and spoke method of, it wasn't just us, right? It was a photo shoot with six other businesses and a photographer. So that's seven different accounts that this content is now hitting. And in addition to those, those content, those accounts, you also have the business owners of all those. So you go from, you know, six accounts to now all of a sudden maybe 10, maybe 12 accounts that are starting to see this content, it's not long before your target customer, the person that you're trying to reach, someone that's going to buy your product, it's going to reach their feed. And that, that is how we grew. We leveraged 
and we collaborated with so many different other small businesses in the community. And why that worked really well is because we had a good handle on who our target customer was. We knew that being regional, being local, being all about YYC, which when we started was all about Calgary, we were able to find all those passionate Calgarians who are proud of the city, proud to support local businesses, because we collaborated with all of those local businesses. There you have it. Let us know your thoughts. What do you want to hear from us next? <laughs> <laughs>